Hey, girl. Guys. What's up, girl? Look who we got. We got Drake in the building. Okay. So welcome, Drake, to the show. They're trending right now, huh? Drake is out here in these streets trying to stir up, stir up some type of trouble. He's been doing it ever since he did his video when he married 23 women. Okay. And had Tristan Thompson as the Okay. He was trying to stir up trouble ever since then. So it's just like, what is it, Drake? What is it? What do you want? What do you want? Okay. From the people. Cause I don't got time for it, honey. Cause I'm not, I ain't gonna say I'm not a Drake fan. I don't know what I am when it comes to Drake. Okay. Because when I first heard Drake music, I was like, oh, I like this. I mean, I, his voice sounds real sexy. I like this music. I still, I ain't gonna, let me just say, let me just stay on point. Okay. When I first heard his music, I liked it. And then when I saw how the person look who saw the songs that I like, which is Drake. Now he's not a, a, you know, you know, he's not a bad looking guy. Of course he's not. He just not what I go for when it comes to a rapper. Okay. When I just, when I'm rapper, when I want somebody singing some music and rapping, this just not what I went for. I don't go for um, the grassy type of people. In my rap songs now that i mean i don't want no thug no bat i mean i don't need all that i just need this the look to match the voice and it did not so i was turned out i felt the seed so i just i won't quite say i'm a drake fan but i wouldn't say i'm not one either but I, no no i'm straight i'm straight on on drake i'll let y'all have him honey he just he I mean, not that he did nothing wrong. I mean, because I don't pay him no, that much attention, but he's trending right now, girl. He's trending because he got that messing with Meg, Meg the Stallion. He rapping about her trying to get some attention. He's saying stuff about Serena Williams trying to get attention. Serena Williams don't said something back to him, honey, because he ain't here for it. He like leave his wife's name out of it. Okay. You didn't treat uh, Serena right when she was with you. Don't mention her name right now. Now that she's happy with her husband, it's like how dare I can't stand. Y'all can't stand some of men these days. I swear I can't. I can't stand them. It's like who they think they is because you miserable and unhappy because you can't find love because you don't love yourself. Okay, because it's not like you're not finding great women. Okay, I'm sure the women you find are decent women, but just because you are not content with yourself, you can't find nobody to settle down with. Therefore, you angry in your heart. So, girl, y'all let y'all let these men heal, honey. Let these men heal and be by themselves. Girl, that'll drive them crazy all by themselves, honey. They be knocking at your door 24-7. Girl, you're going to have to get a restraining order. But don't expect the police to help you, girl, because they don't help you. They be straight on the man's side, girl. Can you talk to him? He seems like he's your friend. It's like, are you serious? Because Gabby will still be here if the police did their job. Like, I'm just so sick of you know, men sticking up for men. We're going to let them suffer with themselves, okay? And that's how you let them suffer. Let them sit with themselves, girl, girl. That's punishment for them, honey. That'll, that'll, that'll kill them, girl. Let them sit in their own house with their own self, okay? Or wherever they at. Up under the bridge, let them sit in their own cardboard boxes, wherever they at. Honey, let them sit by themselves, okay? Okay, and that includes mamas. Let your son sit by himself, honey, because when he leaves his girlfriend, how she going to kick him to the curb? He's going to come straight to your house. Girl, let him sit by himself. Okay, let him heal. So let me jump into this reading, honey, with Drake, girl. What's going on with Drake? Why he acting up in these streets? Why he need a woman's name in his mouth to be relevant? Please tell me. And why it got to be a black woman? Okay, talk, talk to me, divine angels. What is going on with Drake? Okay, and why he need black women in his mouth right now? Give me the best card. Because I don't understand. If you ain't got nothing nice to say about these women or positive, say keep them out your mouth. Keep them out of their name out of your mouth. It's like, who y'all think y'all are? For clout. The desperation. It's like I'm so sick of them. I mean, go go get the women that look like your mama and talk about them, okay? Go get the one that look just like your mama, okay? That's what I want to hear you talk about in your rap song, okay? Here we go, the high priestess. We got the highest card in the deck, very powerful, good or bad, secrets to be revealed. Yeah, you're going after Megan because she is the high priestess. She don't care nothing about y'all y'all nicks, okay? She don't really don't. And she tell you in her song, that's why I'm here for Megan, because she'll tell them in their face that they sit there and and and, and and sabotate all over the all below themselves because of her, but yet they can't touch her. Okay, and she and she talks so much mad 
girl, I love Megan Thee Stallion now, honey, because, honey, I, nobody don't talk more crap than me. When you gonna piss me off? Girl, come on, Megan. Don't give me, don't make me blast some Megan today, because I will, and I am. Okay, so let's get, we got the high priestess here because okay, so he needs the high priestess in his mouth. Okay, whether good or bad, he need her for clout because Drake by himself, who talking about him, girl? Who talking about him? Y'all, maybe not me. We got the moon here, deceptions and delays, emotional ups and downs, maybe deceiving yourself and others emotionally. Exactly. He's so miserable. Okay, Drake is so miserable. He can't find nobody to love him properly because he don't know how to love himself. Okay, he don't know how to love himself. We got the four of cups, money fluctuation, being offered something that you may not want. So his money going up and down. His albums ain't quite right in the way. They ain't quite rocking. I know I ain't rocking with him after I seen them. Okay, I thought lay eyes on my like, yeah, nah. You I right. ain't saying you ugly or nothing, but you just don't match what I need. Okay, when it comes to my rapping needs, you just don't match what I need, honey. So. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, Drake. Okay. And plus, I don't like the pressure with my with my music. Okay. I like to jam. I like to dance. I like to have a good time. Okay. I don't want to be sad and, and moping. Okay. He stays sad and moping in his songs. I don't I don't do that. Okay. So now we need um now we want to know more about why he got the high priestess in his mind. Why he feel the need? Why is this high priestess here for Drake? Okay, give me more about this high priestess. Okay, oh, the lover, honey, you got the lover here. Do he got a crush on Miss Megan and Stallion? Hmm, is this another one that um that he bites the dust with? Okay, he couldn't keep Rihanna. Did he try to go for Megan too? So we got a love affair here, some type of love affair that may have happened. They is all on Megan balls, baby. Get off of them. Okay, she don't need you on them. Okay, it's like, oh, the desperation, honey. Okay, they can't handle somebody like Megan. They cannot handle her. You can't shut her up. Her mouth is, like she said, her mouth is nasty and out of control. Her attitude out of control. And what you gonna do about it? Okay, what you gonna do about it? And she said she only wants you in the way she wants your daddy, your granddaddy, honey. We're trying to get put in wheels, baby. We ain't trying to deal with y'all little broke, dusty stuff, you little musty stuff. We don't want y'all, baby. Okay, where your granddaddy at? Okay, where's the legacy money at? Maybe we've been on wipe you out the wheel, baby, and, and put ourselves in it, honey. Okay, since you claim um, black women, uh, single mothers. Okay, how about these single mothers come in and take y'all out the wheel, honey, and, and get put into the wheel? Okay, how about that? How about that? Huh? How you, how you feel about that? Okay, so we got the love affairs here. Okay. So some type of love affair, romance building again within a marriage or relationship or uh, relatives, a loving relationship you can share with friends. You don't have that. You don't have a loving relationship you can share with friends. Number one, you probably don't got no friends. Number two, you can't establish a loving relationship because you out here hating on these women. OK, let me see you go pull up on these men like that. OK, you could barely even handle Kanye West when he was talking about you. Baby, baby, go sit down somewhere. You too high yellow. Go sit down, baby. Uh, but I see, I see you. I see your insecurities. Okay, it's shining bright, literally. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, because I don't have time for these celebrities. Okay, and I definitely don't have time for them. The men right here who don't have no light of their own, and they want to sit there and use women as their light, but then yet trying to dim the woman as they do it. It's the audacity for me. And then it'd be women like her and Serena and all the all black women that stand up for you. But then as soon as you get an opportunity to try to dim their light, to brighten your light, you would do it. And then you'll have so many uh, dusty musties that support you. But OK, but the times are changing, baby. I just want you all to know the ties are changing. OK. That's all I'm going to say about it. So let me stay focused on this reading. So we got the high priestess here. Okay. He know right now she, she in the game. She ain't, and she's still exceeding, honey. She was at the Met Gather. She up, she working her way up the ladder. Okay. She's still speaking her truth. She's still being who she is. And she's saying F y'all. Okay. In the process of doing it. So you're going to bite her style. You're going to clout chase. You're going to uh, hang on to her panties. Okay. Because y'all want to wear panties. 
Okay, you want the right to wear panties, put on your panties, who cares? Y'all been wearing them. Okay, so put them on. You want pink panties, put them on. Okay, you still not gonna look better than us in them. So, oh well, oh well, honey. You still gonna be trying to imitate, okay? So we're flattered, thank you. Moving on, okay, moving on. Okay, yeah, because I'm sorry, these celebrities, they don't, they don't impress me, okay? They do not impress. Okay, and they're clearly gonna press Megan the Stallion. So you tried to get with Megan. Okay, she is that what I'm seeing? I'm seeing right here that you had some type of crush on her. Okay. All right. So did she she talked her shit to you? Okay. That's what she do. You couldn't handle it. Okay, so you're gonna try to hurt her. Okay. Hater. Hater. Give me more about the moon card here. Why is the moon card here for Drake? And why he and why he nipping at um Megan? Okay. Why hanging on to Megan panties? Oh, we got the seven sword plans, hopes. He has some type of hopes, plans, a wish card. Okay, he has some kind of hopes and plans, but that got crushed with these sword energy, honey. We got the king of swords hand, man over 25 years old, brown eyes, brown hair, cold, abrasive, demanding respect. Oh, I know <laughs> one thing they can't handle is the Megan the Stallion mouth, baby. They cannot handle it. Okay. And you know, they egos. They ego, so they pull out their swords when it comes to Megan. Oh, you need your sword for Megan, for Megan the Stallion, because I, because she stand taller than all of them in in um in the industry. You know they ain't, you know they ain't nothing but like four feet, five feet tall, and Megan all six feet, honey. Megan tall, and she be talking her stuff, so he demanding respect from her. What please? What please? That's funny. That's cute. Okay, let's move on to um, money fluctuation. Honey. So your money fluctuating, your money funny, honey. So, oh, we got the fears and frustrations out here, honey. Oh, you crying at night. Oh, we found it, y'all. We found it. Okay, his money funny. Okay, his money funny. And um, it says being offered of something that he may not want. Okay, his money is fluctuating. Okay, y'all may think, oh, Drake got plenty of money. Drake got plenty of money to you because you probably don't got that much. But Drake, to Drake, Drake know what he needs to sustain a Drake's life. And he don't need it going up and down, up and down. He needs to stay up. But that's the flow of life. Okay, money goes up and down. That's the ebbs and flows of money, the energy of money. So you buy no um, Megan Thee Stallion, just like I said, because Mr. Drake can't stand being at home alone by himself because he really do want this ten of cup situation, honey. Being a single father just ain't hidden, okay? So he got this fears and frustration of being alone, honey. Just like all men, they try to put this fear of being alone. They don't like being alone by themselves in bed, baby, with that with the sores all in their head. They were crying. They be crying. Don't think they're gonna be crying. That's why they need a girl with them every night. That's why they need somebody. And sometimes multiple girls. They need multiple girls so they can seem like players, so they can seem like they something. But at night, baby, these men cannot stay at home. The house is not a home without somebody that to love them. Okay. So at night, because he don't have this ten of cups situation, all he all he is is a single father. Honey, he be up all night crying, honey, with his little button on because you know he can't sleep with that uh that beard dye with that Beijing on his pills, baby. So he got his bunny on and his beard bunny and crying at night. Okay. But he keep that secret. That's why they stay at the studio all night, honey, because they are not content with themselves, honey. These men right here, they want the happy family, but guess what? They don't really know how to maintain it. They don't. They can meet a good girl and the girl can be so-called perfect, but they are mess it up because they don't know how to be men. They don't know how to stand up on their own. They don't know how to be protectors. They don't know how to be um, somebody that can communicate well. OK, they can't communicate well. Listen to the songs they write. OK. But, you know. He up at night. He can't let go of his emotions. His emotions are up and down. Okay. And he stay in his feelings. He stay in his emotions. And for a man to be in his emotions, honey, it'll take a toll on him. Okay. He's going to become angry. He becomes resentful. He becomes just a mess. A mess. If they don't, because because he can't figure out this love thing. He really can't. And he really wants to. He do want this happiness. He won't 
a good thing to come in. He want to celebrate. He want to have children. He want a wife. But somehow he can't maintain it because up here, no matter what, you know, he can't even when the right girl comes in, he can't maintain it. He don't know how to keep it. OK. And then if he do keep it, he think they groupies. He think they don't want him for him. He think they want him for his money. OK, so he can't find true love and happiness and he keeping it all secret. So but he trying to act like the rest of the dudes. OK, and be toxic, thinking that's cute. So. Give us more. Why he's so insecure? Give us more. Let's point out why is he insecure? Why we got this moon card right here for Drake? Give me more about this moon card for Drake. Why is it here for Drake? Hmm. All right. Let's see what wants to come out here for Mr. Drake. So the moon card. We have an issue here with growth. Okay. We got a growth issue here. We got an issue here because, and you see that we got all type of weeds and stuff trying to grow, but look what it's trying to grow. It's trying to grow in this emergency room in a 911 situation. So it's telling me that he grew up in a situation where he didn't have a solid, solid foundation where he can grow and be the man that he wants to be. Now, he being a biracial man, he probably don't have an understanding of who he is as a man, period, just from the roots, okay? The roots. Are not clear to him and so therefore he confused from the root up okay and that's a hot mess okay and that's why he can't establish anything because he he don't have a sense of identity and he trying to he's been trying to grow um as a young man but it been in an emergency room situation in a in a place where he could not properly grow and be the man that he needs to be okay because he can't balance something out OK, there's something he cannot balance. He's trying to balance it out. And no matter what it, he does, he can't balance it out. Now, this is something a matter of the heart. This is heart issues. This right here is his vision, his third eye, his, his ability to see. OK, and he may not be able to see in a balanced way. And the way he see, he see that there's people that's turning their backs on him. We got a black man turning their back on him. We got a white woman. Then we got another white woman turning back on him. So I don't know if he can't find his identity here and he's just trying to balance out some things. But in his mind, in his mind, he is very unbalanced. OK. And in his heart. OK. Next card, we have his instincts, honey. His instincts are not his manly instincts, probably are all off. He very two faced when it comes to his instincts. Probably a little bipolar girl. But this right here speaks about instincts and this is a great card so it's a it's about his spiritual connection okay him being spiritually connected he may not be spiritually grounded okay and then we got joy okay now we got joy here we got a um a woman here dancing with her hands up trying to be free being able to let loose let her hair down and be i don't know if he he's able to do that he don't know how to be to bring true joy into his into his life because he's trying to balance something out. He's trying to be something that he's not. That's why I pick up with him. He's trying and and I don't think he know because you know biracials to me don't have an identity from the ground up. They don't have a they don't they don't look like mama. They don't look they don't look like daddy. They don't look like grandma, grandpa. Kids tell them that you don't belong here. Other kids tell you, you don't belong here. Then you grow up and then you find do find a belonging up with the rejects. You know, you kind of find with the rejects of the world and then you get into um, rap where you're supposed to be one particular way, definitely. And you don't fit that, which you really don't have to because you'll find your people, you know, and people who don't ride with you just don't ride with you. But they got that freedom. But I, he, it's a struggle with him in the inside. So but, so what he going to do? He going to go ahead and do what black men do. He trying to be like a black man and rapper. So he. Uh, trying to attack the black women. He think that's going to get him brownie points. But baby, no, nah, you don't got those kind of points, okay? You just got brownie points. You don't got black points. So you need to stop, okay? I don't know who gave them to you, okay? Take your little brownie points and go mess with people who look like your mama, baby. Go over there and mess with people who look like your mama to bring you joy, okay? If that what brings you happiness, okay? Because we don't need your drama over here trying to fit in if you think that's fitting in. Bye. So 
Let's see. Give me the current energy for um, Drake. What is Drake's current energy? I just don't got time for the BS. What's your energy, Drake? What's your current energy right now? They say he's traveling, honey. He out of his mind. He's trying to be successful. He try to be creative. Okay. Okay, let's see. Right now, he's doing a lot of traveling, honey, trying to seek some things. He probably be doing some type of he probably trying to get some type of spiritual connection. This card kind of give me traveling upwards, trying to spiritually connect with something, trying to find some kind of connection. Okay. And he's traveling, looking for that. He's looking for a foundation because it's in red. So he's looking for a foundation because without this foundation, he's going to be in red for real angry. Okay. So he's kind of like in an angry mode. Okay. He kind of, and he's looking for something in an angry way. Yeah. Cause his mind is out. He lost his mind. He out of control. He all scrambled in the head. Okay. He's trying to figure out something in his little life, honey. His mind is all over the place. We got little fireworks going off here and there. Okay, again, his his mind is very explosive all over the place. He's not seeing straight at all. Okay, we got a breakthrough here. Breaking through. He he's trying to break through all this craziness and this red that he's trying. He's trying to break through this anger, trying to figure it out. Okay. Well, you need to don't use Megan the Stallion for it. Okay. We got an integration here. So hopefully he have a breakthrough and he come become some type of spiritual connected. Okay. Because this is saying that he's going to be connected. After he have this breakthrough, he's going to have a spiritual connection here. Some type of, he's going to see things clearly or start to see things clearly. But then we got this snake down here at the bottom. It's going to be a battle for him. Okay. It's a battle, never ending battle, but he needs to choose, make the right choices here. But it's not, like I said, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a lot of sorrow on him. You know, you see the red, again, the red, he's clearing out the fog, but then we still got this red hood over him. We got this redness over him. So he's going to have to sit in himself. He's going to have to sit with himself. He don't want to, but you got to sit with yourself, sit by yourself, and it's going to be a lot of crying. He do a lot of crying, y'all. Don't, don't let Drake fool y'all. He is a crybaby. Okay, this this uh, reading is showing a lot of crying, a lot of sadness, a lot of um, when he's by himself, he is crying. He can't he don't like being by himself. It's a lot of sorrow here and it's in his head. He can't get rid of it. OK, but we got the success card here. It's, it's, it's still in red. OK, it's like a foundation. He's trying to set his foundation with his success and. You know, and it seems like it could and it could happen if he go through the sorrow and finally sit with himself. He can have the success as his foundation because he's walking on a tiger over the world. OK, so I see some success for him if he go through the proper healing and then he can prop properly be creative. And then maybe he can make music that will fit who he really is, honey, and not trying to be something that he's not. OK. Because if you don't heard one of Drake albums, you don't heard them all, girl. You don't need to hear all. You don't have to go and stress yourself out. Listen to every album, girl. Just listen to the one. And then you don't heard all of them. OK, because they didn't change up for me when I heard them. So. So hopefully I think if he go through this healing, OK, a breakthrough, because right now he is angry in the inside. OK, he's he's he red, baby. He red in the inside. OK, he, he went from yellow to red, baby. So. It's like he's an Indian now. So he's Native American. Okay. He's trying to find his identity though. Okay. Because I don't know if black work well with him, even though he's he's mixed, but he's beef, he probably beefing with his daddy too. Okay. And then his mom, I see his mom kind of showing up in the reading. Okay. It's like he honored her, but at the same time, he's still kind of confused by her. It's a confusion here. So, and because he's confused with mama. And kind of probably upset with daddy. Girl, here we go. He, here we go. Going at the black women, honey. Now, how did that equal black women? I don't know. I don't know. Go for Because he ain't going to go for the black men because he's scared. He ain't got the courage. He cried too much at night. Okay, so you got to go for the women. But you go for the women you want to, honey. 
Go for the women you want to, honey. We too spiritually connected to be for you to be trying it. Okay. You ain't spiritually connected enough. Okay. So you better uh you better walk the tightrope, baby, and walk it carefully and keep it moving. Okay. Please keep it moving. Okay. Mr. Drake. Um, but that's Drake's reading, girl. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna keep on doing reading on these little ignorant people, okay, that's going out and that's doing too much for clout. It's like, why? And then why are you picking on people? Why are you taking people's um, pain and using it as if it's funny or as if it's cute? <sighs> bye. Bye, Drake. Okay. We're done. We're done with him. Okay. That's the end of, of Drake's reading, y'all. Um, we'll see y'all later. Talk to you later. Bye.